Thank you for your choice of our Valtrop Recombent 3 model. This model is composed of the following parts. A three-part windscreen, the upper part gliding in the low part, plus one removable central part. A fixation of plates type 1, 2 or 3 with a double pair of brackets. One rear adaptation to be fixed on the luggage carrier or on the seat tube armature. One storage bag containing the canopy, side panels and their ports one Allen key and one instruction of mounting. This video presentation concerns the Valtrop Recombent 3 Fixation 1 model with fixation on the front tube support of derriere and at the backside on the luggage carrier. To begin with, Install the plates on the tube super of derriere or on the boom for the fixations 2 or 3. Put the transparent protection around the tube support of derriere and unscrew slightly the two nuts which link the plates. Then put in position the two plates as low as possible. The nut on one of the two plates must be situated on the chain side. Tighten the two nuts above below with a flat key 10, not supplied, and watch to center the two plates and to fix them solidly. Then fix a double pair of brackets on the welded tubes and replace the two removable half shelves with the inscription 23.8 with the Allen key. Put the horizontal tube armature on the low part of the windscreen in the two brackets and replace the removable pieces. Then tighten slightly. Center and incline the windscreen to approximately 48 degrees. Tighten it slightly, then replace the upper part of the windscreen. Unscrew two out of three screws of the adaptation piece, leave one beside, and set the upper part on top of the luggage carrier. The low part is positioned under it, then tighten the three screws. This adaptation should normally be fixed on the end of the luggage carrier in order not to hinder to install luggage on the side or on the top. For the fixation of the adaptation on the seat armature, fixation 3, set the fixing pieces onto the high tube armature on the seat horizontally. The plate with the back should be positioned parallel with the one of the luggage carry adaptation and as low as possible. Then tighten the two nuts. Put in position the bag in such a way that it will be in a distance of 44 inches to the pole's entry of the windscreen level. Insert first the two poles into the two sheets of the canopy before inserting sideways the two poles into the black pieces on top of the windscreen before fixing them on the other end towards the back side. At the front, the canopy is lining on the velcros on top of the windscreen and in the back on those of the back. Then closing of the two zips under the canopy. Push the pole in three parts into the big sheeting of the side panel under the velcro. Do the same with the second one. In the front, insert the metallic end of the pole into the tube fixed on the deflector of the windscreen. Then connect the two side panel on each side of the canopy with a zip from back to front. In order to respond to the different sizes of the recumbent users as well as the different lengths or models of the trikes, it is possible to modify the adjustments. To check if the adjustments are correct, 
the canopy should be at an approximative distance of 2 inches from the rider's head. In order to obtain it, in the front, incline the brackets to vary the height of the windscreen. In the back, adjust the height of the luggage carry adaptation and the horizontal position of the canopy. After several weeks of use, re-tighten all screws of the windscreen structure with the joint Allen key. In order to get into the seat of the recumbent easily, the windscreen can be turned round towards the front together with the canopy. So, take out the poles of their fixing of their fixation toward the back, then push up the quick releases on the front brackets. The canopy can be equally half removed towards the back to offer a better side view above. The side panels can be removed too and stored in the back. By bad weather or reduced visibility, frost, snow, drizzle, the middle windscreen can be pushed down to obtain a side window of 4 inches or totally removed to gain a side view of 12 inches. During the summer, the middle windscreen can be removed and stored in the back behind allowing the air to come in and free the visibility in keeping the canopy totally or half spread out and to stay protected against the sun. Clean regularly the windscreen with a humid cotton pad to avoid scratching it and use a small dose of a soft cleaning liquid to assure a clean visibility and favor the rolling down of the raindrops.